Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial video on this channel today. I'm going to be showing you how to get the progress bar for your live streams. Um, it's going to show up as an overlay, so I'm going to tell you how to put that into OBS or Streamlabs OBS. And so with this overlay, it will allow you to see the distance, altitude, speed, so on. Just to give your viewers an understanding of how far into the flight you are. So other than that, I'm going to get straight into the video. As you guys should know, I only post um, free tutorials on this. I don't want to put any payware just in case. But other than that, let's get straight into the video all right guys as per usual i'm going to leave a link at the top of the description for where you'll be able to get this um overlay and the software for it so once you click on the link it'll bring you to this page here so you can scroll down and see what it looks like when you are running the flight sim and you want to keep the tracking active you want to leave this software open you don't want to close if you close it then the overlay will just disappear and you won't be able to see so just to keep that in mind when you're running this, you want to keep this open whilst it's doing that. I'll show you how to use that as well. And plus there are different overlays you can use. There's a thinner version of this, or you can just use this bigger one here. You can move it around to put it anywhere on your stream as well. And obviously you can change the files you want it to be in. And the good thing about this is that, um, well, mainly it's free. And the other thing is that you don't have to keep it in the flight sim community file. You can put it anywhere you want on your computer. As long as you're able to find it and open the software, then you should be good to go. So you can see how this is different to other overlays. So you can use Ben Overlay, which is what I used for x 11, Project Fly and Fly Live. So you can see all the benefits here, good update speed and all that. And yeah, so I'll show you guys how to install it. So I'm gonna head up to the top of the page. You could go to the central website, Fly Central, or you can just click the download. So you're gonna click direct installer and then it'll begin to install. Once it's installed, you can just press on this and open it up, which it should open a second, there we go. Open it. You want to press this so you usually come up with a pop-up you just want to press that and then voila it'll bring you to this so simply if you're flying on fs2020 which i'm pretty sure majority of you guys would you want to make sure you put it to sim connect and once you click sim connect because usually it'll start off um on this one the top part you want to move it to the bottom uh, make sure this is like ticked off and once you've restarted it then it'll bring you can just go back to here and in order to set a flight you literally just Press this, you just put your departure. So I'll say Heathrow to JFK. You can put in your call sign if you want to, because it will show your call sign as well. So I'll just put Speedbird 1, for example. I'm going to press that, and then that is that. So usually, when this has happened, you could go into the sim. But before that, you want to create an overlay. So let's create a new one. You could choose whatever. You see, this is the slim one that I use for my live streams. So you can choose any one of these ones here. So I'll just choose the basic. You can put whatever SIM path you want it to. So you can just find the file. So you're gonna press that and then here it is. So this little bar up here is the tracking bar. So that's the progress bar. So as you fly, the closer you get towards your destination, then it will start to fill out. You can go click on it and you can change the color and so on. So if I want the background to be, I don't know, pink, I could do a bit of pink and so on. And you can move it around obviously move it to wherever and once you guys have actually done this um you want to use overlay what you want to do is copy this if you copy this then you can simply just press ctrl c or just right click on it and press copy this is what you're going to use on your streaming software so obs i'll show you how to put it in so you're just gonna copy that link and go over to your stream software right now and i'll show you how to put it in so now with the fly live software still open what you guys want to do is go to sources make sure you guys do have this section here and then once you have that then you'll be able to create like multiple sources this is what the sources i use for my live streams so after you want to go to the plus and you want to press this and head over to browser source you can keep it as that or you can just name it whatever you want to feel free so i just put it as f <laughs> and then you want to go here and you want to paste the link here so once you've pasted that link you want to set the width and height now to 1920 by 1080 so it will fit the full resolution of your screen you're going to press done and there you guys have it so now the overlay is at the top and it would be live the only way this fly live thing will go live fully is when you are in the sim it does work offline so you don't have to be connected to the wi-fi in order for it to work so that's a that's another good thing about this all right so once you've done that that's literally all you have to do and just make sure your sim is running Make sure the program, the Fly Live program is running as well. Uh, set your departure and arrival airport. 
and then it should start moving and doing everything it needs to do. So now I'll show you guys how to do it on the normal OBS and not the Streamlabs OBS next. What you guys want to do is head over to sources. After you've created a scene, go to sources. And at the bottom, there should be a little plus right here. You want to press that plus. You want to go up. It should be the third option. It might be have some other options depending on what version of this you have. So you want to press browser and create a new one. And simply as the other one, just copy and paste the link here. I then set the width and height to 1920 by 1080. Once you've done that, you want to press OK. And there, the tracker is now shown up here. So you're ready to go live. As I said before, just make sure the flight sim is running and the fly live software is running as well. So now we're going to go into the sim and I'll just show you how it works. Right now, I respond at London Heathrow. I'm just going to do like literally a five or 10 minute flight from here to London City Airport. Um, so I'll show you how it works. So we are live right now. So if I bring up the overlay on OBS, you guys should be able to see it right there. So simply what you do is go here. So I'm gonna select Heathrow and then go to London City. And then I'll just call my, I don't know, whatever aircraft, um, call sign, speed by 69, why not? And you can see then it will shop with all the information at the top. So the departure, the arrival, the um, call sign, what aircraft I'm in, the heading, altitude and so on. Let's see if you want to get going here, just go full power or something like that. Um, you guys would be able to see it would start to move eventually. You'll see the progress bar in action. So let's just take off here and I'm just going to go full speed ahead. There you go guys, so now you can see the progress bar is now moving. And see, see how quick, well, because it's a short flight, um, the, it's obviously moving a lot faster because of how close we are to London, um, Luton, London City Airport, not Luton. So you can see that it got the altitude and everything. If you can check the altitude here, cause, okay, now the thing's active. You can see 2,100 feet. So if you go straight, if you just level off at a certain altitude, let's just do like 4,000 feet. And just gonna out so it keeps our current heading. You'll see how it would. Oh, come on. Yeah. So you can see how it would also keep the altitudes that are at the speed, so the ground speeds, and the heading. So right now we are at a heading of 88088. Eight, eight. And as you can see up there, it shows the same exact um, heading. So once we get to the altitude of 4,000 feet, then it will show you that as well. Alright guys, so now we're coming in for the landing at London City. Um, so you can see how the altitude's still following it. It's still got the exact numbers shown up on the on the FMC, not the FMC, the, the flight display compared to the overlay. You can see it's exactly the same. It's got our speed as well, pretty well. Can't really slow down because this is a very steep approach uh, for the ILS at London City. We can see everything is working perfectly. The progress bar is still filling up. We still got the same heading, 095. We've got 095 right there. If I do a bad landing, ah, it's not my fault. At the end of the day, <laughs> it's the tutorial, so you guys got to allow me. Um, yeah, so, oops, so it'll just pop up in the middle of the screen. I think you can change the settings on how long it would last once you've landed. But yeah, it, it is pretty uh, kind of accurate. It's, I say it's pretty accurate. Um, compared to the Ben Overlay. But this one I think is a lot better and it's more simpler to set up than Ben Overlay. But Ben Overlay is more confusing, I would say. All right, so once I touch down, then you'll see the message pop up. Oh, ah, that's a bad landing, but that's all right. And you see, there it is. It'll just last right there. Okay, that was actually a horrible landing. Oh my days. That's something I never do. But yeah, so that's how it works, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on the next video or live stream. Take care.